what's happening YouTube how's everybody doing today well I'm doing pretty daggone good besides not sleeping <laughs> it's early in the morning I hadn't had no sleep then got my schedule off so I'm trying to act like a teenager and stay up all night and uh, start to take a toll on this old boy a little housekeeping smuggled on this custom built Rhodesian given to me by my good friend Oberg inside of it got some uh, get it right up there I'm sure go down and deal real boat gambler I've really been smoking a lot of this stuff. I, first time I've had it, and uh, it's really good. It's definitely one I think I'm going to pick up a few more tins to throw in the cellar. If you haven't had it, definitely pick some up if you like burley. I think you're probably, think you're probably going to like it. Well, the reason I want to make this video, uh, Old Berg's having a Christmas giveaway, and uh, I want to support his channel, and uh, yeah, I want to support his channel. <laughs> Plus, he's a good friend of mine, so he wants to he wants us to tell him about. Uh, our most memorable or favorite Christmas memory as a kid, I think is what it was. And I got one goes back to when I was 11 years old. And uh, here it is. Well, when I was about 11 years old, and I'm sure most of you probably used to go to Walmart a lot. I still do. <laughs> And me and myself, I, I live out in the country and I've always been into guns and knives and that kind of stuff. So whenever we went to Walmart, I was always in the sporting goods section. I was over there and the fishing stuff, and over at the gun counter looking at the guns and the knives and all that stuff. And there's this one knife, it's an old timer, big knife comes in a sheath and uh, something about it just called my name you know I was I'd drawn to it and uh, I kept on making reference to it you know and dad was like you like that knife don't you boy I said yeah so every time after I seen it back there in that display case at Walmart I had to go back there and check it out my daddy got to messing with me. He said, you go see it? Did you go see it? I said, yeah. I've been seeing it. <laughs> it's like I had to go look at it every time I went in there. Well, I was, I was pretty into it for a while, but, I, I you know, we weren't we wasn't rich by no by no means, but, you know, we, we had what we needed to have, you know. No, wasn't a lot of room for extra, you know. And that, you know, when you're growing up and there's five people in the house and, you know, Necessities Trump wants all day long, so I just kind of let it go, you know. And, uh, so Christmas rolls around. I hadn't forgot about the knife. Like I said, every time I went to Walmart, I went and checked it out. And uh, you know, as a kid, you just dream about all the stuff you could do with a knife like that, you know. <laughs> and, uh, I don't remember asking for this knife or whatever, but, uh, you know, but my, my parents knew I wanted it. So, Christmas morning rolled around. Uh, Mama made a big breakfast. My mom was still alive. She'd been, she'd been 
passed away for 10 years. But, uh, you know, 10 years now, but this was back when I was a kid. But anyways, um, she always would make a big Christmas breakfast. And, uh, you know, we'd be chopping at the bit to open presents, and she'd make us wait. And I think it was some kind of sick thrill for for my mom and dad to watch a squirm knowing in presents were there, and <laughs> we couldn't open them yet. But uh, <clears throat> got done eating and everything. And uh, it's time for the gifts and all. And Mama always would pass out the presents to everybody, you know. And uh, she handed me this package. And I knew what the I knew what the packaging for that knife looked like and felt like. You know, I knew about what size it was. And uh She put this package in my in my hands and I about lost it because I knew what it was. I couldn't tear the pipe off that thing fast enough. <laughs> you talking about a about a kid being happy? Uh, I was thrilled and uh, and you know that was, that was the only thing that mattered that at that second was that knife that I finally got it. You know and uh, I still have it now. I like to show it to y'all. Here it is. I've had this knife for 25 years and uh, kept up with it. I never lost it. Carried it a whole lot. But, uh, uh, it's a big old knife. I was in love with this thing, <laughs> but uh, that's a big one, and uh, that's probably a lot of knife for a 10 year old, but I had to have it. Uh, and uh, I know y'all probably thinking, that's a lot of knife for a 10 year old, <laughs> but uh, I was responsible. Very responsible. At least I thought anyway. But that's the old school, old timers. That's back when it was made in the USA. Had to get set up. But uh, good quality stuff. And, uh, and I carried that knife, I know, for, for a good solid 10 years. Uh, went everywhere with me. Uh, skinned a bunch of rabbits for that knife. Got into a couple of deer, so uh, that's something I'll never forget. That's that's a Christmas that uh, that's a good memory, you know. And, and to see the look on my parents' face, that to see me that happy over something, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it was just it's something I'll never forget. Uh, just a good memory to think about. reminiscing here <laughs> but uh, that's my, my my one of my favorite uh, Christmas memories so Berg I, I hope that hope that gets me in buddy uh, well congratulate you on your 1300 subs uh, I know you're gonna get plenty more put out some great content good tobacco reviews some good views on things and uh, I appreciate your friendship you know we talk a lot on boxer and house party and on the phone and things and uh, really appreciate it it's always a good time but it's uh, about all I got for you yeah uh, till next time y'all have a good one